Hello. Yes, I am this exhausted. And also, if you've never seen me wear black before, me neither. But that's drama score for you. We have to wear black for all our skills classes, so movement, articulation, voice, everything that's not straight acting, we have to wear black. So, when I did my Q&A a few days ago, I was asked what the hardest thing has been so far for me at drama school. And first I was like, maybe that we have to be really mature about love now, which is a thing. So we have had scenes with partners now, improvisation, and people have kissed. I haven't, but I have played a scene where the opposite was my boyfriend and we had to go through our relationship, what kind of contraception we use, all those kinds of things. And I have this little girl instinct where I just want to blush and laugh and cover my face. But I have realised that I can't have that anymore. I have to be mature about that now. And I thought drama school's really easy going so far. Challenging, of course, because I jumped straight into the MA, but still okay until this week. I have met my obstacles. Starting with Monday. On Monday we had a Feldenkrais. A Feldenkrais is this guy who came up with neutral mask, I think. So basically how much your body communicates without your face. In the first lesson we did wear masks and you could still read so much about a person and their feelings just based on how they were standing and moving and also how you walk onto stage and all that kind of stuff. And on Monday we had this really hard exercise where the teacher took us up on stage in front of everyone and you had to be there and enjoy yourself and not be aware of the audience. Literally stand there and have a good time, walk around, enjoy the music. And it is very hard to do that without being conscious of the audience, conscious of the fact that everyone is watching you. Just imagine being put in front of all your friends and to be told to enjoy yourself and forget about them. But when I went up, I felt confident. I felt like I literally had fun with my teacher on stage. I thought I was being very natural. And my feedback was, Lottie, well done. You were so terrified. You volunteered to do something that you were absolutely scared of. And you were so, so, so scared and still you did it. And I was like, what? 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 <laughs> and after a long talk with my teacher, we figured out that what I consider to be my neutral and normal and okay state is a very stressed and anxious state because I seem to constantly be stressed. And she said it has a lot to do with my perfectionism. She has seen me take so many notes and think so much that she can hear my brains work all the time. And I'm trying so hard to be a good student and I'm trying so hard to succeed that it is actually damaging my performance. And she said letting go of all that stress and anxiety and leaving your personal life and thoughts outside the door and being very vulnerable and going on stage and enjoying yourself and letting people into you, that is what makes your performance interesting. And she said I currently can't do it because I'm trying, I'm stressed and I'm anxious and I need to let go of that and I don't know how to do it. That is the feedback that I got at my dream school last year, that my tension was palpable <sighs> and I literally don't know what to do. How is it possible that my normal state is anxious and how do I get rid of that? She said I should clock the moments when I'm very much feeling myself and when I feel very, very, very relaxed and be conscious of that. <sighs> and the second difficulty was today. And you might have watched my Instagram stories. It was absolutely terrible. So we had this task of coming up with opposing wants and then we had to improvise a conversation for 30 minutes. Yep, a 30 minute improvisation, that's super long. But if you did your backstory and 
all your background work on the characters and on their relationship and where they live and what their obstacles are and what they want and what their childhood was like and all that if you did that well and you really knew your character then improvising wasn't that hard my and my partner's opposing wants were the fact that I was pregnant and I was a career woman and I wanted an abortion because I wanted to focus on my career and an upcoming project. He again saw it as a gift and as a way to make our relationship stronger so he wanted to keep the child. We had a 30 minute discussion in which I tried to charm, I tried to reason, I used all kinds of tactics, I cuddled him, I told him how much I loved him, how sorry I was that I didn't know he felt this way, but he should try to understand me and I offered ways to make our relationship stronger such as travelling, date nights, all kinds of things. <sighs> Part of the exercise was that you had to really care about your partner, which made the opposing ones much harder. After the exercise was over, the teacher asked us how we felt. I said I was very proud of myself because I used lots of different tactics. She said to me, no, you didn't love him. I can't see this relationship working if a woman is so career focused. If she really loved him and she saw how much he wanted the child, she would have given him the child. And if she was so career focused, this relationship will not work and they will end up breaking up and I can speak really calmly about this now but so I have two acting methods that I've learned in the past that I work with one of them being Stanislavski's magic if where you ask yourself how would I react if I was in that situation and the second being substitution so if you, if you for example have a scene where you really love your partner but you don't really love the actor then you substitute him with someone else so i like to imagine lily being there and when i talk to her i feel very loving towards the other person because i imagine it being lily also when a scene doesn't really make you sad think about something that actually makes you sad substitute the situation and your acting will be truthful. With both those methods you will be very truthful and believable because you're actually feeling these things and you can relate to the character. So after I got this feedback where I was told that I can't possibly love my partner if I react this way, I said I'm very sorry, I don't agree because I have a boyfriend who I love very, very much, but unfortunately, my career comes first. I now live in the UK, I can barely ever see him. My career currently does control our relationship and I can't give him what he wants. And then the teacher got really angry at me and she really screamed at me and said, this is not therapy, snap out of it. This is not you we're talking about. If you're acting, then you need to act, you need to, imagine but you can't put yourself into that situation you can't use your experience you can't use your real feelings this is really amateur and bad acting her feedback lasted over an hour and i cried and i cried and i cried now later that i can think about it rationally and i'm not crying and sitting in front of the class which was the worst thing me and my partner were sitting in front of the class when my teacher was giving the feedback so everyone watched me cry for an hour but now later I can think about it rationally and I remember our head of course saying to me you will have teachers that you love and you'll have teachers that you literally don't agree with try their methods but you don't need to use them use your own methods the most important thing is that you are a truthful actor and you learn how to become that by trying different things and finding out what works for you and now I can say I don't agree with that teacher. I first of all don't agree with how she thinks about women and their careers and relationships, but she is much, much, much older than me. And second, I don't agree with her approach on acting, but I guess that's okay. So yeah, I guess my main thing now is to find out how to let go of anxiety and stress and let go of that tension that's apparently in me. If you have any ideas, let me know. But now you know what's been the hardest 
thing for me at drama school so far. I've been to drama school for four weeks now. I'm still loving it. I feel very challenged. I feel amazing. There are amazing teachers and I'm learning so many great things. But these two things were hard. These two things and the love thing. Because inside I'm just a little girl who wants to hide. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon on Tuesdays and Fridays. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs>